What's up, guys? Just uh, gonna grab something real quick here. Just gotta print something fast. Let a couple of the other people join on in anyway. Hope everybody's doing good tonight. <clears throat> Been a long day, which isn't too bad. Yeah, definitely got to go to Soda Mart. There it is. So it looks like we got Eric for the first four spot, Brian Becker, five and six, Wes Van Epp, seven and eight, Sean Jason, nine, Vinny, 10 through 13, Sean Jason, 14 through 17, Eric, 18, Sean, 19, and then Eric, number 20. Um, and as a matter of fact, I think it was Eric Christian, nope, Ryan Becker opened it up. So let me see if I can get him into the break room here. Because he's got first pick of box number one or box number two because you started it off. Be right back, you boys. Sorry, I'm not too prepared. Don't invite him. Sorry, Vinny, I gotta. <laughs> you guys are priceless together, man. Like I said earlier, you guys are like Waldorf and Stadler. If you guys are too young to understand who they are, then I apologize. You need to watch more Muppets. Starting now. I'm sure you can watch it on Netflix. Alright, so for this one, guys, just while a couple other people are joining the room... Um, winner number one, whoever pulls the player with the most career hits wins first choice autograph and every single American League card pulled. Winner number two, whoever pulls the player with the most pitching wins, current, it must be a current or active player only, wins the second autograph or the points card. It better not be one of those darn things. I hate those. And gets every NL card pulled. Winner number three, whoever pulls the first Milwaukee Brewer gets a freebie into the next pack war. Uh, I haven't determined which one it'll be yet. I do have quite a few boxes still left over. Uh, Allen and Ginter, I might be able to do another alphabet break with some other high-end product that I have back here, like Encased or Gold Standard Football. Uh, some good stuff, though. A lot of great hits. It's a slim chance of pulling a card, but if you do, you're doing a happy dance to the bank, most likely. Uh, let me see here. Who else do we need in? Eric Christian's in. Good to see that. Vinny's in. Man, not many people part of the break here yet. in here. All right, guys. Well, I invited everybody here. I'm going to get going. Obviously, it goes without saying. If they're not here, that's all right. They can always watch the video later. Um, so, Ryan Becker, if you are in the room, you got first choice. Otherwise, it goes to Eric Christian. So box number one or box number two. Uh, speaking of which, here two guys, this is going to be for our freebie. So the first, you know, all three of these cards are going to one lucky winner here. What the hell was that? Um, it's on the outside case, don't worry. So one guy is going to be winning a Lorenzo Kane first Bowman card. So this is a first Bowman rookie card, Chrome. All of these are Chrome rookie cards, too. There's a Christian Yelich first Bowman Chrome rookie card. And there's an Eric Thames first Bowman. Yes, it's Blue Jays, but it's still a first Bowman rookie card. That's the theme I was trying to go for. So that is one of the freebies just for saying a thank you to everybody as well uh, for getting in the first four breaks. This was for one through four. Um, I'll be doing other freebies as well. An autograph that I hand-selected this time around for the freebie as well. That'll, this will be a separate random 
will be the Ty Montgomery rookie card autograph. A couple of freebies to go around here, guys. I'll be doing that again, like I said, more often. Uh, and I'll be doing these drawings after the breaks tonight. Or after the pack wars. And if the alphabet break fills, I'll be doing that as well. All right. So, Ryan Becker, you got three seconds. Three, two, one. Eric Christian, I got two boxes left. Do you want top or bottom? Top or bottom. Your choice, bud. What's up, Sean? All right, so for the optic break, again, the optic break was Eric, Becker, Wes, Sean, Vinny, Sean, and Eric. So it was basically just four or five guys again in this one. This one did fill first, so I'll be doing this one. And then after this, I'll be doing the one right after it. The captain. Oh, El Capitan he's going for. That'd be nice if we can pull a Derek Jeter, too. So we do have another optic just to let you guys know. I do have two leaf draft. One is going to be used in the alphabet break tonight, hopefully. And then I'll have one more left. If anybody wanted to buy it outright, or if you guys want me to put it in one of those raffle styles where one person wins the whole box, I would do it at uh, probably 12 spots, $10 each. And then whoever wins on the top after four, five, six, seven spins, however many we roll on the virtual dice, that's who gets the box. And then I'll rip it and ship it. So if you guys want me to do that, let me know. Uh, pass that. Enough yapping. Let's rip this up. All right. Make sure all the camera angles are good. You guys can hear me. All of that's fine. Of course, as you guys can see, I'm always repping WSC. WSC box breaks. That's Waukesha Sports Cards, just in case you can't see that behind me. So the WSC, if you guys have never been there yet, that's all right, especially if you're out of state. Past that, though, guys, if you if you are out of state, just go to www.walkishasportscards.com. we got a lot of different memorabilia posted up. Right now, we do have tons of signings, too. So, as it works out, guys, we got packs one, two, three, four, and five are right there. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You stay over there. There's 11 through 15. And then obviously 16 through 20. And then there's the empty box with a little nice little styrofoam spacer in the bottom. All right. Pull the camera back a little bit here. Get this readjusted. Get these back a little bit further for our wall of fame. All right. And I got the list right here. And. Of course, obviously, guys, just to make the break go a little bit quicker, feel free to pull up uh, MLBReference.com and uh, help me out with uh, whoever has the most career hits, and that is career. doesn't matter if it's Derek Jeter or an active player. It can be anybody. Uh, for the next one, though, however, uh, whoever pulls the player with the most pitching wins, it must be an active player. No promo. Learning, I see. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, nice promo, yes. I'm not trying to do any of that stuff anymore. I got reamed out the last time, so... All right, guys. Pack number one is Eric Christian. And Eric, you actually have pack one through four, so I'll just pull those off to the side here. Put those sideways. Here's pack number one for you, buddy. Good luck. All right, so card number one. We have a Nolan Arenado. Next up is an insert, Carlos Correa, All-Stars. Well, that's a cool-looking card. Nice little insert card of Aaron Judge for the New York Yankees. 2017 rookie card year in review. Right now I'm not seeing many hits leaders. Arenado would probably be the one at this point in time. And then the rookie card on the back is a Luis Gohara. Gohara. Kid had a lot of hype coming up into the season, but he hasn't really lived up to it. Uh, Arenado, for the moment, is going to be the hits leader. And he has 800 on the button. I'm sure now that this season has started, he has more than that. So 800 is the leader as of right now. So Eric, you got 800. Next pack. Nice inserts in that one, at least. Next up is Eric again. Ooh, I'd like to see the back card. 
First up, we have a Josh Bell. Next up, we have a Trevor Story. We have our first uh, refractor, if you will, or prism. It's a Marcus Stroman. And on the back, we have our first Shohei Otani rookie card. Our first Shohei Otani. And I am ill-prepared today. Let me get my at least plastics. There we go. Got to protect the show here. Get that off to the side there for you. All right. So, I think after all of that, though, I'm pretty sure Trevor Story does not have anywhere near that. Yeah, Nolan Arenado is still in the lead right there. And active pitching wins, I guess Marcus Stroman would be the one because we haven't pulled many pitchers past that. He's got 37. So it's 37. Oh, Jesus. Louise is batting 1,000 here. <laughs> it's, it's a very early lead, but yes, you are in the lead, my friend. All right, we're on pack number three. Pack number three. We got one of the meanest men on earth to do autographs for, Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan. And most career hits. That's a decent one to have. That jumps you into a lead pretty quick. That's 25-17. So, Arenado, peace out, dude. You are out. Joe Morgan is in. I'm just going to put you in the lead. Joe Morgan. And you also had a Marcus Stroman. But notice I've been getting a little ADD halfway through this, like, ah, what pack was that pulled in, and what was this? So next up, we have an Evan Longoria. Man, pulling quite the variations already for Shohei Otani. So whoever ends up getting the American League, uh, American League is going to be doing pretty darn good in this. Definitely getting their money back already just in the Otani's pulled. So let me get that one protected right away, too. Again, we're still looking for our first Milwaukee Brewer, and we're going to be keeping our eyes open uh, for the other two winners. So there's Shohei Otani number two. Different variation as well. And then the last one up is an insert card, which is a Chris Archer. He might be on the trade block right now as we speak, too. And Eric, your last pack, at least for a few more rounds here. Pack number four. We have D. Gordon up first. D. Gordon with the Seattle Mariners. We have a Yadier Molina, All-Stars, a Ryan McMahon Prism rated rookie for the Colorado Rockies, and then an Ahmad Rosario for the New York Mets. So out of that stuff there, not really seeing a whole bunch. Career hits leader, definitely not going to be taking out Joe Morgan, I'll tell you that right now. Pitchers I'm still looking for, though. So next up, we have Ryan Becker is these two packs. So I'll just pull these off to the side, not to mix them up. Here's pack number five. Pete Rose would be a good one to have. Ichiro would be a good one as well. I don't know. You might have a lot of people saying asterisk next to your name if you pull a Pete Rose. So we got Anthony Rizzo is first on this pack. Daniel Murphy, oh, we got a nice little color behind here, a little green refractor at least, and it's a King Felix, King Felix, set the other one down there, so the King Felix right there, um, active pitching wins, I know he's probably going to take out Marcus Stroman, that's for sure, this card is number two of five, only five of these around, so this one is two of five, that's a nice looking card, get this one protected right away, so that one would be going to the American League as well. So the American League, right now, whoever gets the most career hits is doing pretty darn good, especially we haven't even seen the autographs yet, and you guys are doing really good. So get that off to the side. It was the Danny Murphy and the Rizzo. Put that there. I think the uh, actually the Hernandez with the wins, he's at 160, and that is definitely better than 37. So that has been knocked out, unfortunately, my friend. You have already been ousted. Ryan Becker is now in the lead with the King Felix. King Felix. All right. 
And then the last card of that pack, it's obvious that it's a Ryan Becker pack right now. There's the Boston Red Sox and Mr. Mookie Betts, who has been an MVP for four years straight, according to the Beck. Right there. And that's just a, just an insert card right there. All right, next up, we have Becker on the mend again. Out of what product did you pull a Rosario, Eric? All right, next up, we have Ryan Becker and pack number six. We have a Manny Margot. You Darvish. It's a nice little card. Get this one protected right away. Is a Reese Hoskins rated rookie card. Reese Hoskins rated rookie. So the National League is getting a little bit of love now as well. Seems like every pack has been National League, American League. National League, American League. Maybe a couple have been a mixed pack so far. And then the last card out of that pack was the Adubel Herrera, which is another one of the Diamond Kings inserts. Put one off to the side as well. All right, so next up we have Wes Van Epps has the next two up. We're still searching for a brewer. And we're still looking for uh, potentially someone to knock off uh, Joe Morgan off the, his throne. And then we're looking for a pitcher that can knock King Felix off of his throne. So Eric Christian's in the lead with the Joe Morgan. And Ryan Becker's in the lead with the King Felix. So Wes, here's your first pack, pack number seven. Welcome to the break room too here, buddy. Good luck to you. So you in the shop today as well. So a couple of people actually in the room right now or in this break specifically are just guys that used to come into the shop and are now friends and Good guys to come in and talk with about cards. Good luck on your pack. Unfortunately, he is not an active player, but this guy would have definitely had career, uh, you know, no big deal, 324 wins. That would have definitely knocked it out. But Nolan Ryan is the first card. We have a Mookie Betts as the second card. We do have one of the name variation cards here for rookie rated rookie. That's Nicky Dubs. That's Nick Williams for the Philadelphia Phillies. So we got a Nicky Dubs. I like how they do the uh, name variations in this. And then the last card is a Nicky Delmonico rookie card. So, yeah, career hits. Joe Morgan still takes the cake. And no one knocked off King Felix as of yet. You still got a pack left here, buddy. Good luck to you. Here is pack number eight. Still looking for two autographs as well. And we have Noah Syndergaard. I don't think he's close. Nope, he's only got 24. He's a young kid. Aaron Judge base card. Another one going to the AL. A Carlos Correa. A same one as last time, but this time it's the Prism. And last card in the pack is an Adrian Beltre. Adrian Beltre. When it comes to career hits, I know he's over 3,000, so can someone please verify where Adrian Beltre is? I'm... Pretty sure we all just celebrated his 3,000 hit. <laughs> and Beltre. 21 years, he has 3,117 hits, so that one definitely takes the cake. Joe Morgan has been ousted, and the new guy, Wes Van Epps, is now in the lead after eight packs. Adrian Beltre. All right, so Joe Morgan gets ousted. Sorry about that, Eric Christian. You still got a chance, though, buddy. Next up, we do have... screen so I can see everybody all right yeah I see that you broke those I'll have to check the uh, uh, messages that you sent me earlier Eric on the uh, Bowman Platinum all right so next up we have our first pack for Sean Jason thanks again man for coming out and cleaning house I always like to see uh, the Trevor Hoffman of any room come out so here is our first one this is a light feeling pack so hopefully maybe this is our first hit no nah, I don't know we'll see so, Sean Jason, we have a Dustin Pedroia, Cody Bellinger, Giancarlo Stanton, insert, and then it's got the 2017 MVP instead of showing the team name. 
and that is numbered 104 of 299. 104 of 299. And one of my more favorite prospects coming up, Willie Calhoun. Willie Calhoun, he was part of that trade that sent him from the Dodgers to Texas. All right, so Sean, Jason, we got, uh, that was pack number nine. Vinny Borowski, you're on the clock right now. You got pack number 10 and 11, 12, and 13, if I'm not mistaken. So start off easy here. Here's pack number 10. We have a Freddie Freeman, Dallas Keuchel, Nolan Arenado insert card. These are kind of sweet look, uh, looking inserts. And a Noah Syndergaard. Freddie Freeman, Dallas Keuchel, Nolan Arenado, and a Noah Syndergaard. And next up, we have Vinny again. This is pack number 11. We have a Mad Bum. Where is he at in wins? 104. I forgot where King Felix was. 160. So King Felix is still in the lead for that one. Madison Bumgarner is the first card. Next up, we have a Joey Votto. Uh, looking back, this is kind of cool looking cards, even though Manny Machado is now a Dodger. We have a Manny Machado on the left and Brooks Robinson shadowing behind him. Cool looking cards. I really like those. And a Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw. Pretty sure he's got to be pretty darn close when it comes to pitching wins. And for wins, oh. nope, he's 13 shy, 13 shy. So Felix Hernandez is still in the lead. So we're going to have to put that one on the shelf. Sorry, Vinny, I thought you definitely had at least a shot, which was close. It was 13 away. All right, so I've got to get to my next page. Vinny, pack number 12. Still looking for two autographs, which is kind of nice. They're making us wait a while here. And we have a Nomar Mazzara base card, a Jose Ramirez, all-star card, a Zach Cozart, not numbered, but one of the prisms, and a Cam Gallagher for the Kansas City Royals. All right, and here, Vinny, is pack number 13, your last and final pack, looking for a Charlie Hustle, an Ichiro, or something of that nature to help you out, or a monster, well, that Oh, it's got to be an active player. That's right. Active. Nope. Career hits. So, Cal Ripken. Is he above? I'm pretty sure Cal Ripken is above Adrian Beltre. Cal Ripken Jr. MLB players. Cal Ripken. And hits 3184. 3184. Wow, that's close. I think what well, Beltre was 3187 or 3170 or something like that. Definitely gonna have to double check that one here real quick. So 3184 is what Kel Ripken had. Adrian Beltre. Thirty-one seventeen, so Cal Ripken definitely takes the lead then. Thirty-one seventeen, and Cal Ripken, Vinny takes the lead, and with pack number unlucky supposedly pack number thirteen. So Cal Ripken, not a bad one to get there, and then it looks like we do have our first autograph next here. We have a James Kyle Farmer, a Kyle Farmer autograph. I've been pulling a lot of this kid's autograph this year. Hopefully he pans out to end up being something here then. So that's one of the autographs that someone's going to get to choose from. 
Anytime you get someone in the Dodgers farm system, though, just because there's such a large market, if the kid goes off for even one game, you can sell it for a pretty penny that day. So that's the autograph. And then we got a nice little rookie card coming right behind it. We have a Gleber Torres. And then to end it out, we have a Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez and a Gleber Torres. All right, so Vinny, you did take the lead, though, on that one, buddy, and we do have our first autograph. Actually, I think I have, yep, perfect. Put that right there. At least we got an auto, so the Cal Ripken and the King Felix are still in the lead. Make sure I cross out the Adrian Beltre. Sorry, Wes. And then we have Sean, 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 and Sean. So it's going to be Sean for four packs straight. And then it's Eric, and then Sean, and then Eric. So keep these three in the back. So it's Eric, Sean, Eric. But all of these right now, it's Sean time here. I know you're on baby duty, so hopefully you get to watch a little bit here, bud. All right, so pack number 14. Ooh, we have a redemption card right behind this. And you know how we do those, folks. We're going to do the other cards first, and we'll slow play it. Another redemption out of Optic. Can we get another number to five? Maybe someone different than Jose Altuve. That's amazing. Can't wait to see who this is. We have a Luis Severino. We'll keep that one backwards for the moment. We have a rated prospect, Nick Senzel. A Tyler Wade. And then here we go, guys. We're going to do this slow playing. And we have a baseball 2018 Donruss Optic. I want to make sure that this gets zoomed in. Rated Prospect Signatures Orange, card number seven of Nick Senzel. I know he's done for the year, but this is another fantastic autograph. And I think orange is number 275, if I'm not mistaken. So still, another nice autograph. Nick Senzel is going to be a monster, monster kid coming up here after he gets done with his injury. Still very, very young, and that is a great redemption to get. So two redemptions in two boxes that we've done so far. Looks like the feet is a little choppy on one side here. Hopefully it's not too bad. But that's uh, Nick Senzel again is the rated prospect signatures orange. N card number seven, Nick Senzel. That's awesome. Nice little run here, guys. Hopefully we can keep it going. I pray to God that this choppiness is only on my end. Get this Adrian Peterson crap off there. There we go. Looks better already. Yeah, nothing wrong with that, man. So we got our two autographs now. And we're still searching for somebody that can knock uh, Kel Ripken or Felix Hernandez off the throne. So, Sean, pack number 15. 15 out of 20. So we have a J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez. Ken Griffey Jr. I don't think Griff had that many hits. Nope, he had 2781. Jose Ramirez Prism. And then an Adam Wainwright. Adam Wainwright. Hmm, I wonder if Waino. Let's see here then. Adam Wainwright. Gotta love baseball reference. Get rid of all the other stuff. Here we go. Wins. He's at 147. I think he that's the same that Kershaw was at. So 160 is still in the lead. So Adam Wainwright was the last card, Ramirez, and then the Ken Griffey Jr. So that is it for that pack. You still got two packs left here. You got pack number 16 up on the clock right now here, buddy. Sean Jason is still up. Vinny B, you biting your fingers on the Cal Ripken. And Ryan Becker with spot five with the King Felix is still in the lead. So we have a Stanton up. Carlos Correa. Corey Seager Prism. And then a rated rookie, another young prospect that I think is going to do pretty darn good in the upcoming years, Alex Verdugo for the Dodgers. Alex Verdugo. All right. Good luck here, buddy. This is the last pack for you for this round. And then you got one more coming up here. But Eric is next. 
We're still looking for a brewer. Is that the first time, ladies and gentlemen, that I've opened a box so far and we haven't had a brewer in it? We might have to just random that spot off then unless we can pull a brewer in one of these last four packs. Former brewer, Zach Granke is on top. Edwin Encarnacion. Adrian Beltre, that's funny, joined the 3000 Hit Club on 7-30-17. So we're coming up on that anniversary pretty, pretty soon here. So that's another nice insert. And then a Jose El Tuve insert card at the end. So the Beltre's close, but Cal Ripken still takes the cake and the career hits. Eric Christian, you're up next, buddy. Good luck. a Miguel Cabrera, the Mick. There's got to be something with Mickey Mantle, isn't there? Nope, only 24-15, but the man had 536 home runs and 1,500 RBIs, and he hit 298. Guy was ridiculous everywhere else, but he didn't get quite the hits that Kel Ripken did. Probably didn't have quite the career either. Last two cards in that pack then was a Ryan McMahon rookie card, and then a Clint Frazier, the Red Rocket. Interesting nickname for a guy, but whatever. And then we have Sean Jason. You are up next. This is your last pack. We got two packs left in the break here. So good luck to you guys in the finals. Good luck to Vinny, Ryan, and good luck to everybody else here. So a Jose Abreu. Justin Turner. A Corey Kluber. That's actually a card worth checking out. And then a Justin Bo uh, Bauer. Um, has Kluber been around long enough? It's worth a shot, like I said. Even though King Felix was very dominant for many years up until the last couple, so we'll see. Career. Oh, wow, I was way off. He's only got 88 wins. He's still pretty young, though. Jeez, that's almost embarrassing that I even checked that one up. And last pack, Eric Christian, last pack. Good luck to you, buddy. We have a Robinson Cano. Salvador Perez. Hey! Another, another good card for the American League. And this one is numbered 37 of 50. That one should actually net some decent change on eBay. 37 of 50. It's been a Shohei Otani kind of a night. Been quite a few different New York Yankees as well. So, and it looks like our last card is another rookie, which kind of puts it out of play there, unfortunately. So it looks like, Vinny B, you are going to be the winner of the hits, which is the first choice of autograph and all the American League cards. Man, Vinny, you are just on fire lately, brother. Sure, everybody else is getting mad at you. I can't be mad. I'm not involved with this at all. So it's unbelievable. So Cal Ripken wins it for Vinny. So Vinny, you are going to be getting, like I stated, the first choice of autograph in every American League card. So what autograph did you want, buddy? The next Central Redemption or the Kyle Farmer? You really did, Eric. You did pull every single one. So, Vinny B, if you're still watching, let me know which autograph you want, and then that way I can just make a nice and quick roll right here. Phil Miller, boo! You booing me or your, uh, your, your brother in crime? All right, well, anyway, we know what happened. We'll do a quick little uh, recap here. Some decent cards throughout the whole entire thing. Uh, mainly the Otanis. <laughs> there was a nice little Reese Hoskins that we did pull, rated rookie. A couple of nice inserts, a whole bunch of other cards too. Put the King Felix up there too since he won. Got some other ones here. Another Shohei Otani. We got that beautiful Shohei Otani in the back there. Numbered to 50, but I'll show that in a second. Here's another variation. This is just the uh, base, not the numbered to 50. And there's a nice little Aaron Judge insert. 
a Carlos Correa insert, and there was a whole bunch of other rookies too. I'll make sure I separate all these cards. Vinny, you're gonna have a whole like back desk full when you come to WSC the next time. <laughs> you're doing pretty good. Vinny, redemption. All right, so Vinny's going redemption, and he's got all of the American League East. And Ryan Becker with the King Felix. You did get the Kyle Farmer autograph. So the Kyle Farmer is going to Ryan Becker, and then Ryan Becker also gets every National League card. So all the NL cards are going to the Beck. So congratulations to the winners, guys. Thank you all that got into this. Your day is coming soon, Eric and Sean, and also anybody else that did not get in on this one or that did not get a hit. It's kind of the way the cookie crumbles, though, guys, but whoever does hit big, they usually do pretty darn good in the long run with all the cards that they get. So I'm going to stop stream on this one, and then I'm going to set back up shortly, and we're going to do the Donruss break, and then after that, I'll shut down, and then I'll start doing the randoms for all of the uh, freebies that I showed you guys earlier in this video. Thanks again, everybody. This is Borky signing up for WSC Box Breaks and Waukesha Sports Cards. Peace out, y'all.